I am back with another upload. Uh, 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 upload. Yes, I'm back with another upload, and I hope you enjoy it. However, listen here. Don't judge me, right? Don't judge me. I'm going to make a couple mistakes, but it's going to get greater later. And so with that being said, listen, I did this video because it helps me and hopefully it'll help you. I just need you to do me that same old favor I always beg for. Hit the like, share it out. If you think it was informational, educational, hey, share it out. Don't be selfish. If you're not a subscriber, please consider becoming one. And when you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell for all notifications so you won't miss the next time I upload or even go live. Let me get this out of the way. Yes, yes, yes. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. The information in this video was obtained through research. I am not a licensed psychologist or psychiatrist or even medical professional working in this capacity. If you think you are experiencing any psychological or physical trauma, please seek professional help. I am not the one. Now, again, instead of me being judgmental, I said I'm going to start looking at people's behaviors and I want to answer some of the why. Why is a person so mean, vile, hateful, hurtful, malicious, having emotional breakdowns, mental breakdowns? Why are they so promiscuous? Why do they indulge heavily in drugs and alcohol? Why, why, why? Well, hopefully this video may answer some of your questions to why a person behaved the way they behave. Remember, it's the behavior that we're looking at, okay? So, now physical, physical we can see. Physical damage we can see. We can see bruises, bumps, busted lips, black eyes, broken limbs, we see that. So it's easy for us to say, hey, somebody has been abused and especially if it's child, perhaps childhood trauma is setting in or has setting on them because we could physically see that. But what we can't do is mentally see someone's pain or abuse. We have to actually study the behavior of a person. So I took the liberty, I took the liberty, yes, I took the liberty of doing a little research on childhood trauma, how it leads into adulthood. Right, I sure did. Now, you guys are going to have the liberty to watch these slides. I am not sitting here going through slide after slide reading it because you don't need me to read to you. Hopefully that you can read and comprehend. That's all it takes, a little reading and comprehending. But I think this will be very informative to some people. I do. I really do. Remember, childhood trauma can take many forms. It's just not physical and sexual abuse. It also is parental separation or divorce and family members being incarcerated. Let me stick there for a minute. Let me stick there. Listen, I know on the social media aspect, not in the real world so much, I've known several cases of people calling CPS in the real world and it was deserved and sometime it wasn't. But here, on social media too many people i have encountered calling cps for children to be taken out of their homes for malicious reason not because they see these kids in danger but simply because they trying to bring harm to the parent but what you don't know is parental separation 
from a child is trauma, 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 and you shouldn't do it. Childhood trauma can lead into adulthood. This will, uh, this can affect a child for a lifetime if you separate them from their parents. Not only that, if you don't see them in danger, why would you do that? You can actually take them out of a home and place them in a foster home or adoptive home, and those children could really suffer abuse and sometimes end up dead. You guys need to think about that. I wanted to plug that in because I see a lot of that. But you need to think about it. You doing it to be mean and evil and malicious and hateful to bring harm to the parent. The child hasn't done a dang thing to you. Leave them out of it. Think before you call CPS. You could be just bringing more harm or danger to that child. Enough said about that. Adults who haven't dealt with childhood trauma will have a difficult time functioning as mentally, physically, and emotionally healthy adults. Now we have some answers. Now we see why some of these people do the things they do. People we encounter in our everyday lives, even in our families, on social media, why do they do these things? Because guess what? They are mentally physically and emotionally unhealthy, damaged, and they haven't sought the help that they needed to help them become healthy adults and live a healthy, happy life. They can't do that. They miserable, so they want you to be miserable. They hurting, so they want you to hurt. Simple. But trauma, childhood trauma into adulthood could lead to many things the addiction and mental health disorders. Again, we have witnessed plenty, plenty, plenty of people who um, have bad drug addictions, have obesity, overeating, you know, have mental and emotional breakdowns because these are addictions and mental health disorders. When they have emotional breakdowns, mental breakdown when they lash out at people you could sometimes you could hear and feel people's pain just by their behavior you know it's something deeper you do i can feel some of these people's pain you know and it, it's just ridiculous because all they do but have to recognize that they have some deep-rooted problems that have stemmed from childhood and go seek the proper help that they need. You attract what you are. You heard that saying, you are what you eat, you attract what you are. If you are an unhealthy, unstable person, you can't expect to have a loving, stable relationship. You just can't. You're not in that place. can't even deal with meeting new friends. You don't know how to deal with meeting new friends. You can't be loyal to anyone. You can't have a real relationship. So you avoid them. You don't want to meet new people. You, you block people out of your life because you don't have the tools that you need to deal with whatever issues you have. And so you don't know how to be friends with anyone. You don't know how to have a relationship. That's simple. And it's understandable if you can't get if you didn't get help. Listen, childhood trauma into adulthood could lead to chronic illnesses. Chronic illnesses. For one, We've all heard stress kills. No, literally, stress can kill. Stress can take, chronic stress can take a physical toll on your body, you guys. Remember, 
The mind and the body all works together. If you're not mentally there, then you're not physically there. And if you mentally under any type of stress or pressure, it will put that pressure on your physical. Yes, it would. You know, I didn't know that some of these um, could lead to long-term illnesses like obesity, diabetes, autoimmune disorders, heart disease, and even the increase the risk of certain cancers. Wow, I didn't know that. But I guess I did know that, of course, stress kills. I did know that stress can do that to the body. But the obesity, the diabetes, the autoimmune disorder and all that, no, I really didn't. Well, I don't know. Let me go on. Not to mention the effects that alcohol and drug can have on the body as many individuals turn these substances as an unhealthy coping mechanism to deal with their trauma. So you see why somebody's always drunk or always high? Now you see why they overeat. You know why they do things because they are actually dealing with childhood trauma. They masking the problem with using drugs and alcohol, being promiscuous, being mean and hateful to people. They're masking their hurt, their pain. Now, We've heard the saying, hurt people hurt people, and that's true, but not so fast, you guys. That's just not the case in all, all the time because they probably really don't want to be mean and hateful and hurt people, but they are repeating learned behavior. That's what they know. If you don't get help, you only continue to live what you have learned. That's why it's important, you guys, Please seek medical attention. It's okay for you to talk to friends and a family member, um, people at your job. You want to talk to people on social media, but if they're not professionals and they don't have the tools to give you, to utilize tools to help you, then it's to no avail. You need help. You need professional help bottom line there's no way around it if you dealing with any childhood trauma that's led to your adulthood into your adulthood you need to seek professional help you want to live a happy healthy life you want to be around friends yeah well some people don't but i think most people do want to enjoy their life to the fullest and that is to include a friendship with people a relationship well you guys i think i've said enough please thanks for watching please do me that small favor like the video da 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 and until we meet again i did it another upload